I was about 10 or 11, a family friend of ours, she ran dogs, and she still does, and uh, her name is Nancy Dragon, and uh, she brought a team of her dogs down over Christmas break when I was a kid, and um, just absolutely fell in love with the sport, and the, I guess the aspect of the traditional mentality of having working animals and kind of taking it back to uh, the, old, the older days when we didn't rely so much on vehicles or uh, snowmobiles. My name is Garrick Schmidt. Uh, founder and I guess owner, operator of Eagle Ridge Dog Sled Tours. <laughs> About three years ago we had uh, Kevin Lewis come down to Ochapways when I was uh, running a land based program there. From there I got a chance to go and uh, attend some camps up at his camp. They run uh, Kanayasic culture camps up in Minnesota Lake First Nation and um, got a chance to do high tenant camps, canoe building projects, bull building and uh, tying in the culture and language, um, in in with the dogs and the, the stories that go along with with the dogs. This guy's Fetter. He's 11 years old. Um, he is a part of the first eight dogs that I got uh, about two years ago. Beginning of October, when the temperatures do finally start to cool down, we'll do what's called dry land training with the dogs. I'll hook them up. To get, um, similar style with the gang line, but in front of the quad. We'll start off really slow with about two miles at a time, about five, six miles an hour, just to kind of get them back in the routine of running again. And then from there, we add on more and more mileage and um, kind of start progressing with uh, when it starts to snow. We get back on the sleds, we get the mileage in, we feed the dogs, like we'll snack them throughout the day if we're putting in 40 or 50 miles in a day. Connor, chief. chief! It's something that not a lot of people do anymore. It gives us that, uh, that, that opportunity to share these stories and these teachings and uh, to pretty much pass on the passion that I have and the, I guess the workers that we have um, for the working dog. To have that education piece there as well where it's it's not, uh, it's not cruel to the animals or anything. They're, they're very well taken care of. I love being able to see just a team of dogs run, especially in the south of the province. 